other side, yeah, yeah.
Yeah. And then just before it hits a tree. Yeah, yeah. So it's a big tidy to big more seems. Yeah. It comes with big tidy to be
Oh no, I'd wipe wrench in his in the sickle box. That's the equipment we don't want. Yeah, but it's, what's the point in it? Like, no, it's just signals all the loop. You need signals, you can't have it as a passive loop without signals. No, but you don't need that to think of it. No. It's like oh, that's over that's to the way. Oh, that's over to the way. It's over to the way. It's over to the side of a block of flats. Yeah, it's not meant to be that big. You could have got away with just a shed. Well, exactly. I think we'll end, I think we'll end up doing it with, it with the lights and the panels. So. Which buttons? No, no idea. Yeah, might as well. Come on, Fanny. The LEDs, they, they use the less amount. Less oh, is that a grab? Sorry. A bezel. That's a bezel. The bezel will be the same as me. Grabs are smaller. Yeah. Much smaller. You'll, you'll be able to tell the difference if, the, if you see one. You will. My parents used to be quite partial to a, uh, a drum of famous grapes. I, I can't stand this stuff, mate. Have you ever tried pheasant? Have I ever tried pheasant? Yes. It's nice, it's nice. It's, was, it's not bad. We were doing Santa specials a few years ago, and uh, the guy who was supposed to be. We were running around there. Yeah. And the guy who was supposed to be. A trampoline? No, I was going to say that. I think, I think I, it's a pond. Uh, I thought it was a trampoline. The guy who was um, supposed to be covering the run rounds um, failed to turn up. So I went. Yeah. Um, and the shoot were there and they said, oh, we, we, we want to beat across the line. So I said, well, okay, but um, you better tell me when you're coming because I'll, I'll avoid you getting squashed by a tray. Yeah, he said, oh, that's fine. He said, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll let you know. So he came and he said, oh, we'll be there now. I said, right, okay, well, you're okay for 15 minutes. And then, <laughs> will you come and tell me when you've got off the line? So he said, yeah, fine. So he did. And then at the end of the afternoon, he turned up with raised pheasants and said, oh, thank you very much for being so helpful. Mate. I said, I think, um, when we were coming up here in the 47, Rutherford mentioned that he was on a, he was on with someone and it was on a loco coming up here or on, on I don't know but mentioned that they'd seen the hunt on the side of the track and he was like nah no it's alright they'll, they'll, they'll stay there till the train's passed no it isn't let's try it got it yes and it was literally, he said, it was like from where we are now to that post, to the crossing mark. That's how close it was. You ain't going to stop a train doing 25 miles an hour. I mean, that's... In that no, but not in that space. Exactly. Yeah. He had to delay opening the gate there because yeah, of uh, Mr. Parcel, man. Yeah. Not a panic, Mr. Mannering. That's a red flag. Does he realise it's picked up the brain? So, I have no idea. I don't think he's locked the gate yet. No way, he's coming, so, it means something's going on. Why did he just not leave the gates? Why did he just not leave the gates um, closed? Well, the gates are shut now. It shows me a red flag. I'll stop. <laughs> I'm not going to roll down to his flag. No. Stop where you are. It's a dangerous signal. Yeah. yeah. Any exception is if it's a signal box in the stood at the foot of the stairs. Yeah. In which case, if you draw to the signal, then the white paper is dropped. Well, that's how they used to do it. Why don't they totally just leave the gates closed? And stop at the stop block. Good morning. Hello, Nigel. I've had a report from the paper that you're showing a red and a white at the back. All right, we'll go and have a look. Okay, and we had a bit of an issue with switches this morning, so it might be something to do with that. Oh, it might just be me that switches the wrong way around. Right here. I'll, uh, I'll go back and give you the crossing. Okay, yeah, yeah, no worries. Thanks very much. Thanks for that. They were definitely red, I checked it. Yeah. They were, they were red on the platform. The, 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 the headlight's not on, is it? Because yeah. it, it would have been off. Which, which switch is the, the one there. next to the... It's that one. That, yeah, I'll go.
your phone into the platform when ready, I'll jump down and have a little look. I mean, the switch is a, switch is the same okay. as that. Well, it did sound funny this morning because Rob said. Uh, Being stopped. Well, they don't need to really, do they? If you just ring the RO and the RO would ring us, but anyway, that's not Yeah, but the RO, if he has spoken to the ROs, but Rob, and he's probably told him to stop you. No, he will have told him to put a red flag on. Both red? Yeah, the headlight was on. Oh, the headlight was on? Yeah, because I, I checked I checked as well, but I probably didn't notice so the key would have been out. Yeah.
and Ty won't actually charge. <laughs> he went out and held his bardic out the window. It's like, you want to turn it on? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see, that, the, the, friend, the friend of mine that um, supposed to be giving me a load of the old you know, VR stuff. Mm. I think I mentioned it last year. She still hasn't got back to me yet. So I'm assuming she's still sorting it all out. I've got someone get me six driver's keys in a couple of weeks. What diesel? What? Yeah, diesel. Brown diesel keys. I've already got two. I'm a 3D printer. He's, making, he's got a bucket full of them, so he's giving me a handful. Uh, yeah, well, you know, I don't know whether we still have them, but once we have those. Yeah. I don't know where mine are. Because I've uh, got Well, you know Dan from MC, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's only got one. And the problem is if he's doing, well, it's the Optimum Drum diesel drive, so we can't need a diesel thing. Um, but if he's trying to finish on something, he needs multiple keys. Moving low, yeah, yeah, because yeah, they've all got to be running at the same time. Yeah, or, well, it's alright if you can take him out, but he's also found that other people ask to borrow his key, you know, if, and there's, then walk if there's a fitter that needs a key, yeah, yeah, you never get it back, you never see it again. Absolutely. That's probably what's happened to our yeah. own key, then, Nigel. Yeah, they'll be left in something. I mean, I'm lucky I've never had to borrow a key. I've probably been a piss or something. Wouldn't surprise me. Well, the, the one guard at MC, he, uh, he was telling me he, he keeps a diesel key on him as well, he's a second man. As well. But he, this was before he became a second man, he had a diesel key um, in his bag and he was on the loco one day, I don't know, a cab rider or a lift somewhere. The driver turned up and realised that they didn't have a key on him. It had fallen out of the bag or the, just not picked it up. The second man didn't have a key. Him who was having a cab ride did have a key, so thank God they drank it up. Well. <laughs> yeah, but if I did something like that, I'd get a, if I had a key, I'd get a for it. It depends. It depends what your reasoning is for having one. I don't want to use it if I was instructed to use it. Yeah, well, if you keep it in your pocket. Right, if, Ro if, if well, it you is. or Rob turned around and says, right, just go and start that pacer up or whatever, I know how to do it. But yeah. I'd only do it un I'd only do it under instruction. But it also depends on the person. Do you know that there's some people like if they do just keep it in the pocket, as soon as you turn the back they will try and use it. Yeah, first in the Oh I'd never so, do it. I'd never do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not saying you would but when I know what people that would try and do same it. Same with the you know, same with the BR1 keys. Yeah. I mean I've got about four of them. I don't know how many this this, this friend of mine's got in in the back. Well, oh, in you know, in the in the dad's belongings. Is they barbecue? Well, probably. Who? Oh. There's one that there. Maybe. Yeah, they're having a barbecue. Jesus Christ. <laughs> having a barbecue in the middle of, in the middle of February and it's <laughs> freezing. In fact, I was just contemplating shutting the window. <laughs> I've only got it to let a bit of air through. Yeah. But don't let go of the dead man's. It's bloody, bloody. <laughs> Come on, out of the way. Not that way. Squishy, squishy. No. Oh, you got lucky. <laughs> we get surprisingly few, and, they, and they often they think they go underneath, they come out of the side somewhere. <laughs> or they just sit in the corner and wait for the wind to go. This this year is slightly different than not. The, the timing is supposed to be the uh, same. Net, yeah, but, but they knocked a done, minute off. No, no, they haven't. Yeah, they have. They haven't. It's the way the time has been done. Pops. Oh well, because it, it last last year it was arrive at twelve minutes past at Lehman Bar. Now yeah. it says eleven minutes past. Yeah, it, it's supposed to be. It's twelve on the sheet. The times are supposed to be the same. But when you create a train on Pops you select the timing points because this what you do is all, all your client's locations are entered in hops when you get when you buy the hop subscription. Yeah. And you went you can enter sectional running times so the up and down direction. Yeah. And then each of those additional points you can add either a dwell time, a pass time, uh, platforms, etc. And <laughs> Time is set to one minute for a particular point, but you don't include that as a timing point in a particular train, it doesn't have that minute on. Ah. So if the dwell times have been edited, then that's why the timetable shows it's different. Yeah. But the overall running times are the same. 
Yeah, I have two of them. That's a 9, that's a 11, so that's the newer one. Yeah. That's fucking wonderful point, Huh? 1 and 1.5. Yeah, right. That extra great gauge that we didn't think could be used and turns out to do a piece of paper so we can use it. Yeah, well, the, um, when he first did it, I mean, we brought him to the police and said, you can't do that. And the police just went, oh, he's an old man, he doesn't cause a fuss. <laughs> what's a fuss? So that's what you get, so you might as well just give in. Seventeen percent battery left on that. So hopefully by we'll, we'll get to B then and then I can swap the battery out. Yeah. Right. We'll probably get to leave in bar, will you? No. No. A bit further. This is a bit wet here. It's very wet. You can see that the you can see that they've dug a drainage ditch. Is that recent? Cleared out the gutter, yeah. I mean, it's been there for it's been there hundreds of years. That, but those concrete sections, they've cleared it out, and it, it sort of here it just overflows. It's as far as they got, so it's blocked up here. So yeah, it's, it's, well, it's covered in crap, isn't it? Yeah, it just wants to continue, wants to continue clearing it. Wants it wants a bigger channel digging, really, doesn't it? Well, it's all right. It's just when it's left. It's just when it's left and it floods like this. It's like like a marsh here, really, isn't it? Like it's like Skype did it. Obviously, the um, there was a drainage channel underground. But the person that was digging the channel to put the tokenage from Lock Cape then one told about it. So we went and dug straight through it all. Ah. So now that cable is sat where the drainage channel used to be. So it floods. If I don't flood, it just gets a bit boggy. Good old manual backups. <laughs> Can I imagine having to do that all? Or, or, if you're not over on a six hour run. You, what are you? Why if the things fail? You have to do it manually. I can't imagine doing that for six hours. I don't know. Um, it's when it was the Welsh Island 100 back in June last year. I had a heritage bus running uh, between the two Welsh Islands, uh, Port Maddock, and like uh, between the car park. And it was a true vintage bus with no divisters. Um, because it was cold and raining outside, never the Oh no! The, the driver was literally driving around with a duster in his hand. <laughs> Doing that every 30 seconds. Yeah, he's literally just driving up the high street and just went there with his duster and then. Railway departure boards that you can get. Yeah, they work yeah. heritage lines. Yeah, they are. They, yeah. Work, they work for here because they're yeah. enabled on hops. I was thinking about actually, if we can get the buffet up and running properly, we could put one in there. We could put one of them boards in there. Or, well, we you, could, but I have you, to say, our, our, our departures are so infrequent and few. Yeah. Well, you no, know, but it'd you, still help. You don't need to buy one because built into hops, there is a departure board system designed for the railways themselves. And it shows all the train departures, it shows which stocks allocated, which locos, and uh, yeah, we never put local allocations on anyway. They are on hops because I'm adding them. Um, so actually you don't need to pay for a departure board because the built into hops is part of the subscription. All you need to do is log in and go to the services. Yeah, but how would you display it? Using a TV screen or a computer or oh, an right. iPad. Oh cool. because I've been tweeting like mad about it this week, rail departure boards. Yeah. Hours are on one. In fact, hours, um, the feed shares two open drink times as well. Yeah. They're not listed for some reason. I mean, I suppose, I suppose if we could... Beedale, Redmire and... Leaming Bar are on open train times and stations. Yeah, they, don't, they, they don't display the, the data because I think they only show the national rail data. You know, yeah, they've got, um, yeah. they're good small freight train going through, but they don't show hours. But if you look on hops of the settings, well, then you will be able to see them. No, go um, on. Our train data is shared to open train times. Now, at least the public trains are because you've got three options when you put your trains on. 
can set the class as one of them. So class five are shown, class one and two are, and then you can add so a class one. What? Class one as in express, yeah, class, class two, two as in sniper. Yeah. So then from there you've then got two options, public and private. Um, so private only staff can see public is published in the public timetable. And then you, from public you've got a further option called secret which means that if it's a public train but it's secret, i.e. a private charter that certain people can see to some extent, then it's hidden off the data. But it's so it's a, bit like when the, it's a bit like when the Royal Train runs and they hide yeah. it? Yeah. And you only know it's there when you see it? Yeah. So it's there in the working timetable for certain people, but not everybody. Yeah. I'd love it. I'd love to get one of them departure boards. Just like it's hot, it's free. Yeah, but I mean, it'd be, it'd, be, it'd be good for me to like when I when I stream train simulators and that, so I'm on the background from the actual route that I'm running. Yeah. I mean, I'll tell you what I have been like. I've been playing TSW4, and they put, they put a 142 in it. Mm. <laughs> Good. Don't work on mobile, but there you go. They're all listed. Oh, that shows everything that you need to know. Oh, actually, there you go. Q in 70. Yeah, it even tells you where it's calling at. Calling at Scroom. Well, because that's the only station it calls at. 11.30 to leave the bar during 27 minutes, calling at Feedale. That's 11.37. Thing all... Give me speed up a bit. 11.56. That echoed a bit down here, didn't it? The engineering 
train should have gone down to. Uh... Well, it'll be interesting to know how we get the snack back if they let the snack get through. Huh? That's what I was wondering. If they took the, if they took the they're, 37 they're down, would they have to reverse it back? Or would they reverse cabs. it down? Switch caps. Well, yeah, but if you've got wagons on as well. Propel. Well, yeah. enough to get into the platform. They don't last long, these, these, these are supposed to be the longer lasting batteries. Mm. And they still only last about an hour and a half. Good job I've got four of the building things, isn't it? Mm. I will be getting another man. Do a proper cab theory just by mounting the cab up there. Yeah. Well, there is one mounted in there. Is it that one? At the bottom. Yeah. Well, it might be that one, yeah. Well, that one. Forward facing cab. So, what would be in there? All the GSMR boxes are still here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's good. All the OTMR boxes. Yeah. The OTMR's not on because the screen's on. No. That would be interesting to see if we can get that working. Yeah. What, OTMR? Yeah. So...